Welcome to Thought Office. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to be creative in five easy steps. Now, this is kind of the basis of the Thought Office software application. So, we're going to cover that in a real systematic process, five real simple steps. So, the first thing we want to talk about is you need to define your problem, your issue, or your opportunity. I like to start with a real positive note, and I like to start with, we have a phenomenal opportunity to, and then fill in the blank. So with Thought Office, we provided a brainstorming session interface. This is a place for you to be able to kind of collect all of your ideas and your fragments and organize them. So in your brainstorming session, I started with that question. That's up in the upper left there, and you'll see it. From there, we want to be able to really crisply define this problem or this opportunity. The best way to do that, we found, is to ask questions and do it systematically. Don't just haphazard questions. Do it from, from the first to the last. So the way to do that is, is uh, to be able to have an interface that, that provides that kind of input. What we did is we asked 217 domain experts, MBAs, PhDs, people that are real experts in their, in their area of, of, exp of uh, domain expertise, <laughs> And we asked them, how do you solve a problem or how do you get down to the meat of an issue? And they told us, and they, they told us in these outlines that they provided. So we worked with them over months and months and months, and some of them years, to come up with a very systematic process that defines that, the way that they handle those problems. And that ends up becoming a module or an expert topic module is what we call it. And we present your expert topic modules in a thing called the Topics Browser. That's a little interface that pops out of Thought Office and gives you a place to explore those different questions and pop them into your, to your brainstorming session. So now that we've asked these questions systematically, the next thing to do is to, is to work on answering your questions. And the best way to do that is just very quickly, stream of consciousness. So what you do is you come up with an idea or a concept uh, that you've already asked the questions for, and now you want to answer them and just fire those answers off. So in this case, you know, what is the opportunity and what's the opportunity cost? Well, if we don't get to market in 90 days from concept to market, that might be an issue. And we lose about $20,000 a day by not having whatever this process is done. So now that we've asked these questions, right, and we've been kind of stream of conscious answering those, we started to build up a brainstorming session in, uh, in the Thought Office interface. So we have this brainstorming session loaded with both questions and answers. Now the next step is to take, and let's see if we can go lateral with this thing. We just went vertical, we crystallized it, we really drilled down on it. Now what we want to do is we want to get into the lateral thinking with thought particles. Thought particles are bits and pieces of ideas. And that, that phrase comes from a friend of mine named Roy Williams, who's a mentor when it comes to communication and understanding how the mind works. So we go lateral with your ideas using definitions, synonyms, hypernyms, quotes, and word associations, images, lyrics, and rhyming words. We have some other tricks as well up our sleeve, and we'll be releasing those over the next few months. But so, so you've already got these, this problem or opportunity really, really crystallized. Now we're going to go and we're going to start finding keywords within the questions or within the answers we provided. And we're going to explore those keywords with a thing called the Idea Browser. The Idea Browser is another small interface within Thought Office that allows you to explore these things using tabs. So you double click a word in Thought Office, you click the Idea Browser, it pops out, and then you click tabs within Idea Browser and it starts kind of going the stream of consciousness trip with you. And it brings those, uh, those ideas or concepts or words into focus by bringing lots of bits and pieces out there into a, a queuing palette, and then that queuing palette can be dropped into your, to your brainstorming session. So you end up having dozens to hundreds of these in one session. So now we've drilled down on the problem, and then we've gone horizontal by taking these thought particles and, a, and lateral thinking fragments and putting them together and answering some of these questions with a little bit more detail and a little bit more insight. Finally, once you've kind of got that idea crystallized, the next move is to go into step number five, which is organize, present, and promote your idea. So now that we have our idea kind of, kind of crystallized, we've got a presentation tool built in. It's like PowerPoint and in that it allows you to fill the screen with just one thought fragment at a time and then present it systematically, forward or back. 
and allows you to really kind of look at the idea and say, gosh, does this make sense? Are people going to get this? Do I even get this? And you can go back and refine it over and over and over again until you get it right. Next on the agenda is an outliner. We've got a, a beautiful outliner that, um, that allows you to brand your idea, to put a copyright notice on it, and even add your name to it. And those are persistent across every page of your presentation. So you can hand your idea to somebody and you can show them step one, step two, step three, step four, and they can take a look and say, oh, okay, I get it. And they can run with it and actually go and do something productive with it. Because our, our whole concept is to go from creativity to productivity. Because if you don't turn your ideas into something valuable, then you kind of stop. So we want to keep things flowing. The next part of the process is storyboarding. So your same idea can be laid out laterally versus vertically and people can go from step one to step two to step three and they can keep going horizontally like that and a lot of creatives or people in the film business or people that are writing books or or other kind of systematic processes like to see things in that horizontal format so we provide that again with your copyright notice and your name and your brand so it's easy to hand off to somebody and there's no question as to whose idea it was so those are the five steps to Thought Office. Hopefully that's been helpful. And, and if you take a look, just download the program. We have a 15-day free trial. It's easy to use, and you, we're always open to questions. We answer our emails almost 24 hours a day. So uh, we look forward to hearing from you. All right? Thanks again and again. This is uh, Thought Office, and hopefully the five steps to uh, getting creative have been helpful to you. You can find us on the web at www.thoughtoffice.com. Thanks much.